It was a story about like how a really long-lived snake, if they maintain like 100 years, they become a dragon and go to the sky, like that kind of story. The kind of story that the parents usually tell a kid like when they go to sleep. I'm Huhi, and I play mid lane for CLG, and my pocket pick is Aurelian Soul. Well, when I first saw it, I thought it was really cool. You know, like it had this, its unique uh, style of playing because it was a mage champion, but it's really different because you have to value positioning a lot more because of its kit. It was also around the MSI time that it came out. So I was a little bit sad that I didn't have more time to practice it, but I still wanted to play a lot because it looked so cool. The first game, of MSI, I knew that I was going to pick Relin Soul because back then the meta was mid lane Azir, and one of my counter to Azir was Relin Soul. Top later, and oh my God, that's a Relin Soul. Game one of mid season Invitational, and Relin Soul ah. has arrived. And no one actually played it, so I really, really, really wanted to show to the people that. I am the first one who plays early in Seoul in a competitive. Look at the size of that! Oh my word! The center of the universe is who he! I always kind of try to make the big Q. It is the biggest skill shot in League of Legends ever. So I was pretty pr proud that I tried to do that, but it didn't really do like that much compared to how cool it looks. And I just, I'm just waiting for a moment that I can make a big Q and having a five man sun to instant burst. So that's something that I, I really want to get good at. I guess my favorite part of Aurelian Kid is obviously like his main damage source, which is his W and orbs. Uh, you really have to understand like how the, I guess the physics works. The orbs will always spin counterclockwise so that if there's an enemy on the north of you, then you hit the first orb, then the next orb is going to come over. And if you also move your champion to the left, it will have a better position and it will also makes your orb hit it faster than if you just stand still. If there's a champion on the north again, you can probably flash on the left and then uh, two orbs will hit much faster than usual. And people usually don't uh, expect those damage. When you play versus the Rolling Soul, it happened uh, in Rock Tiger's game at uh, 2016 Worlds. Prey didn't uh, understand my damage or how, mu how much damage I can put in, and he just kind of tanked uh, like five orbs or something and got one shot. You really do have to watch out the orbs because obviously the orbs on Soul is the main source of damage. So if you can juke it, or, uh, Soul is not going to do anything to you. The other favorite part of Aurelian Soul is obviously his E, which enables you to travel a long distance in a short time. That makes uh, Aurelian Soul to be a Rome champion. You usually always want to take uh, the skill E so that a uh, level three, so that you can also get back to the lane faster. When you hit level eight, you also want to put two points on E so that you can have more distance to travel. The difference is pretty significant on one point E and two points E, so. After putting 2.C, you have to max gear afterwards. Probably the movement speed is the most important factor in uh, on early soul, even more than AP, because no matter how much AP you have, if you're not faster or uh, if you cannot hit the orbs, you're like you're not going to do any damage. So having movement speed uh, quince is pretty good on early soul, and having boots early or tier two boots even early is really good because you can chase the people down. You can run away from someone and always hit the orbs. Our early install is a champion that you actually consistently have to communicate with your team, talk about like when I have pressure, when I do not have pressure, so that I need help from side laners or jungler to get the vision or a mid, or like when I have pressure, if you guys can we dive bottom or top, like those kind of communication is needed. I'm going to bottom right now. Yeah. I'm go I I go to right now. I come in. Right. Okay. CCs on the side lane also helps you a lot because when you roam, you want to follow up CC so that you can guarantee kill someone right away, which makes you not waste your time and which makes you even having a lead uh, when you go back to the lane. Oh, he level one roam! Right down, Prey gets hit. Yes, it is the roam! Back then when they banned the uh, Fakers LeBlanc, 
LeBlanc was, we can say that he was still a meta champion, so it was kind of banning for them or they just picked it. So they're not really wasting a ban, but early install is a, just a lot more special because no one else in any LCS especially really plays them and they're just kind of forced to ban one ban. Uh, so they usually waste a ban and we just have a better uh, draft from it. Early install was my pocket pick because first he's my soulmate kind of as well uh, and also he makes me stronger on my own point which is team plays roaming uh, and also I look early so look better than other players as well so kind of have a win-win relationship <laughs>